Wow, it's a tough, tough to let two ball there. Hi guys. How you doing? Uh, how's everybody doing? Good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, my name is Pierre. Uh, I am uh, Danish. That's why I have this uh, accent. See you then. Uh, that's why I have this accent. I live over here with my uh, my wife, and I was actually a little bit. There's a sore topic for me because uh, we can't have kids, you know. So you have you ever been in like a plane or a park, and then just uh, you, you know you just hear of, like a baby crying, and then know that if you were that parent, that baby would be dead now. Yeah, uh, you can't have kids. I don't like them. I don't like kids. Uh, it's like I. That's why I look like this. I don't like kids, uh, so I dress and try and look like a pedophile. And it works great when I'm out, like at a playground or something, and then a kid comes up to me. All I have to do is say, uh, hey, you want to see my wee-wee? And the parents will uh, remove them from me immediately. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, it's a tough time. We gotta, we, no matter what happens, we all gotta stick behind Joe Biden. What? Uh, I would never uh, disrespect your president, you know. Uh, I'm a foreigner. So, uh, I mean, if some Norwegian dude, he would uh, uh, disrespect my Danish queen, I would uh, call her immediately. You know, small country, we all have a number. I don't know what we would have to do over here to uh, to get a hold of Joe Biden. Uh, I, uh, write a letter to the old age home for pedophiles, or I don't know. Oh, thank you. Uh, okay, this one. Oh man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta have a little. You got. I'm gonna need a little bit of faith on this one. Uh, so I'm a foreigner. The word, uh, the word that this uh, bit is about, is uh, a word that I don't use. Uh, uh, I don't uh, like using it, so I'll just uh, I'll just use it once. Uh, and it, it, the word I'm talking about is, of course, uh, the the M word. Never would I use that word. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, never would I uh, use that word. That word is for uh, I would say only for black people. White people have no business using it. Not even when they, you know, try to sing along with rap lyrics. I would say no. That's uh, just uh, kind of, it, it's uh, not appropriate, you know. Um, oh shit, <laughs> give me a second. This is my first time trying this. And I gotta be real careful that I don't fuck it up, which I'm doing. Uh, oh yes, but I am, <laughs> so black people can use it, white people should. I am, as a foreigner, I'm uncertain about uh, Latin people though. How is it with, with Latin people? Is that, can they use that word? Anyone? It's just, I, I don't know, it's, I, it's because I've been told, I've been told, and it might not be true, I've been told that it's okay to use it if uh, you are Spanish, and then you say it with, uh, you know, a rolling R at the end, like, I don't know. You can relax now, that's as far as I have written in, in this joke. I'm gonna continue to something else. <laughs> I was just gonna, I just wanted to see if I could make you all say it inside your head, with the rolling R and everything. And it worked. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, but there is a, there is a war going on, you know. Uh, it's, uh, we don't know. We don't know what happens next. We're dealing with powerful weapons. It's uh, serious business. Weapons of mass destruction. I'm of, to of course talking about the, the Reiki community out there by Indian Rock Beach. You know these. Here we are, how are you, doing? you know these witches and warlocks. They're witches and warlocks, man. Uh, uh, energy crystals. You know about energy crystals? You heard of these energy crystals? Yeah. They say they're powerful. What what do we know about them? Are they weaponizing this shit? These people are witches. I say we start burning them again. We didn't learn it the last time. Alright, thank you. That was like the news. Um, I read a, uh, an article not that long ago. It was uh, about uh, it was three lesbians advice to men on uh, finger banging. And now, nothing against lesbians, but 
Uh, and it was in Vice magazine, and I thought I should read it. I'm probably not that good at this stuff, you know, so I read it. And uh, I was hoping to catch, you know, to, to get some new tricks uh, for my wife, yeah. But um, it was a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Now, nothing against lesbians. They had three pieces of advice for us, man. And uh, one is when you uh, finger bang a lady, make sure you have consent. It's a good thing, right? And uh, two guys, remember to cut your fingernails. And number three, don't uh, stick your finger in the dry. So that was the three pieces of advice. I was a little disappointed, you know. I felt, I feel like you guys, we knew this. We knew this, right? Yeah. yeah it would be like, I guess it would be like uh, saying to uh, a lesbian, uh, uh, when you give a man a, a hand job, uh, make sure when you stick your finger into the pee pee hole that you have consent, right? I have nothing against uh, I have nothing against this because I like them. Uh, they're, uh, they're great. I don't think they like me that much. Uh, now I have throughout my life, every almost every single time that I have made a pass at a woman, she has rejected me, and it was because she was a goddamn lesbian. <laughs> All right, that was uh, that was my time. Thank you. You've been great. You also agreed or something. Your next, your next comedian is one of the great. Oh, hey, what's happening, everybody? Uh, uh, who ordered a full Cuban with no uh, no mustard? No, 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 no. All right, back. Okay, thank you. Give it up for uh, one of Tampa Bay's greatest comedians, Mr. John Jacobs.